Hey guys, I'm Kim and today I will be doing another Superman review, which I'm so excited about. Today I will be reviewing The Death of Superman. Now this is, it's been told as one of the top Superman stories of all time. So um, I did want to do a review on it because I read it back God knows when. But recently, a few months ago, I bought the trade paperback and I, I wanted to do a review on the trade paperback. So it is a graphic novel. Uh, so for anyone seeing it, it did come originally in single issues, but um, they have released like new updated versions of the trade paperback. So I decided I wanted to do a, a review of the story within the trade paperback. So um, of course it does extend from this. It it's, has a much more in-depth plot past this book. So if I talk about things that I don't like in this book, it's not necessarily the whole story, it's just what they've put together in this one, the Death of Superman story. So I have given this book four out of five stars because um, even though it didn't really have a plot, I still thoroughly enjoyed it. I almost gave it a three out of five, but I thought, oh my god, you know, like I'm actually enjoying reading this, even though there's no plot it's just like mindless thinking where you can just read something and enjoy the action and not really have to worry about like all the twists and turns and any other sort of plot holes <laughs> there's probably a lot of plot holes in this one but any sort of plot problems um, that you would usually be thinking about in a graphic novel so as I said before of course this is a smaller arc out of a larger story but basically the plot for this story arc is uh, this creature Doomsday who if you've never read Superman before you'll have no clue who he is and they don't explain him but basically this creature Doomsday has um, been unleashed on earth and he's sort of creating this path of doom everywhere he goes just annihilating everything in his path he's basically destroyed all the superheroes that have gone after him except for Superman even Superman's finding it really tough um, eventually he sees this sign with wrestling on it that somehow entices him so he decides he's going to follow the sign to Metropolis. So he goes to Metropolis where Superman and him have their final showdown. Now first I want to talk about uh, the artwork because um, this, because it's an older book it has that sort of old school artwork that I'm really missing. Because I've been so focused and so, I've just been reading a lot of um, New 52 stuff, I'm actually really missing the old like like legit 2D artwork that have no depth or dimension at all but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing it's just that I love like rereading it and just looking at it um, it's just so bright and colorful and simple not that I don't enjoy the new 52 artwork I think most of it's fantastic but it's nice to read something different for a change something like original and you know nostalgic of the whole comic book genre so I really enjoyed the art in this one, even though it was a little goofy. Um, it really sort of reminds you of Superman as a whole, sort of where he's started and where he's going to. Like if you read the New 52 stuff or anything now, you see um, the artwork's a lot more modern. So it's nice to, co to come back to these sort of books and think, wow, it started here and it's gone to here. So it's, it's great to see so much progression in his character and his artwork, really. Okay, the plot. There isn't really a huge plot in this. It's all sort of WWF, WWE wrestling in a comic book. You know, everything's punching and smashing and hitting and it's entertaining, but you know, a plot, a bit more of a plot would be appreciated at the beginning of this story, but they don't ever delve into it. It's always just smashing and punching. So if you're a fan of all of that, then this book is definitely for you. But there is still sections of this book that I really did enjoy in terms of the plot. Um, a lot of Superman's morals came into play at the beginning of this book because he had to sort of uh, juggle with the idea of saving people rather than pursuing Doomsday and stopping him from destroying an even larger amount of people. So it's, it's sort of all this greater good notions coming into his storyline, which I really, really did enjoy. Also with Superman fighting Doomsday, because they're both super powered and all of the other superheroes are basically put in comas they were just punched out of action no one can help it's just Superman he's the only one that can go head to head with Doomsday and I think Superman suffers the effects of um, what fighting with Doomsday has on just the surrounding areas and the people 
the people around him. He doesn't want to fight in Metropolis because, you know, fighting Doomsday in Metropolis is going to lead to mayhem and just stuff breaking everywhere and so much more people are going to be hurt. At the beginning of this book he was fighting him out in the country and even people in the country were getting hurt. I mean, imagine this giant city of people throwing each other through buildings, people falling out of the sky. All of this came into play as well, which is great to see in a um, old school Superman comic. So uh, there was that as well, which I thoroughly enjoyed in terms of progressing the plot a little bit. Maybe it's not so much more of a plot, more of a characteristic that at least they still kept with in this book. But overall, this is considered one of the top Superman stories of all time, so it is definitely worth a read. I would highly suggest you read this, especially if you're a fan of Doomsday. He's probably my second most favorite Superman villain, number one definitely being Zod. So I definitely suggest reading this because I think it's something you really need to read. If you like Superman and you haven't read The Death of Superman, it's kind of weird to tell that to people. So I would highly suggest you read this. I I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, so even though there's not a whole lot of plot going on, um, it's still entertaining. It's good. It's good old school Superman stuff. And that's it for the review today guys. I think that was relatively short. I'm not sure. Sometimes I start talking and then when I get to the editing phase it's like... 20 minutes long and I'm like wow that felt much shorter. Thank you guys for watching uh, my review today and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.